Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can easily declutter your wardrobe today in five easy steps. Before we get started, I just wanted to quickly welcome you to Closet Ecology. This channel is all about helping you build a sustainable and practical wardrobe. And if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new content. When it comes time to finally declutter the items that you no longer want or need out of your wardrobe, it can be so overwhelming and it can be hard to know where to start. So I hope that these tips are helpful for you. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take out any items that are not seasonally appropriate. So whatever season that you are currently in, if there are items in your wardrobe that do not fit that current season, they need to leave your wardrobe immediately. The point of this is so that you're not cluttering your space and your mind and your everyday life with items that you're not wearing on a consistent basis. Of course, you don't want to get rid of these pieces because you are going to need them for the next season. But what I recommend is just finding some sort of a storage system or building something that works specifically for you and just getting them out of your everyday closet. The next items that you can declutter are items that no longer fit. So these are items that are either too small, too big, whatever the reason they need to go. One thing that I really just wanna remind you of is that it's okay if your body changes. All bodies change at some point or another, and it's okay to let go of those items that no longer fit or serve you purpose. It's okay to discard them, let them go to somebody else who could use them and free up that space in your closet for items that will absolutely fit you well and will make you feel great. Once you've completed those previous steps, you want to discard the items that are worn out out of your closet. There's of course an exception to this rule as well. Any items that can be mended and can be saved should be mended and saved. A great example I can share with you today is an Eileen Fisher jumpsuit that I purchased for the spring and summer season. It is a very high quality piece, absolutely beautiful, fits me great, but I unfortunately snagged it and now I have a hole in it. Because it is a high quality piece and worth saving, I am absolutely going to take it to be mended. On the other hand, I have this white t-shirt. I bought this used secondhand and it has definitely seen better days. I've talked about this shirt before, but it is just looking super ratty at this point and it is time for me to toss it. The next step you want to move on to is taking out any clothing items that you haven't worn in a full calendar year. Now I'm specifically speaking of everyday wear. If you have a, a top, a pair of pants, whatever it is, and you haven't worn it in a full calendar year, it's time to assess its purpose in your wardrobe. If you haven't worn it in a full calendar year, I really want you to take a note of why you haven't worn this piece. Is it the cut? Is it the fit? Is it the style? Those are all things for you to keep in mind so that you know going forward that you don't purchase items with those issues so that you don't end up in the same situation. Now we're gonna move on to the final step. So once you've completed everything mentioned previously, the final step is to look at your closet and follow the 80-20 rule. And what is that you ask? So the 80-20 rule is something that I try to follow and I really, really try to encourage others to follow as well. You want your closet to be 80% classic, beautiful pieces that go with everything and 20% fun and funky trends. This is such an important rule to follow because if you wanna be able to get dressed every day in a reasonable amount of time, feel great in the clothes that you're in, you really wanna be focusing on the majority of your closet being classic pieces. Classics are gonna look different for everybody, uh, but personally for me, I love a great basic white t-shirt, white blouses, a great pair of leggings, a great fitting pair of jeans. Those sort of things are going to be classic pieces. Examples of trendy pieces are bright, crazy colors, puff sleeves, bold, chunky chain jewelry, baggy, loose jeans, and impractical handbags. <laughs> I think that this final step is one of the major reasons that people struggle so much with their wardrobes and finding something to wear. It's that classic saying of a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. And that's because too many people have too many trendy items in their everyday wardrobe. And again, like I said, it's definitely okay to have some of those trends available to you and wear what you love. But if you want to build a solid, sustainable wardrobe that's going to last you Invest in basics, invest in classic pieces, things that you can dress up and down. You're gonna be much happier and it's gonna be much easier for you to get dressed every day. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I'll see you in my next video, bye.